Hey YouTube, Chuki here from SurgeonInScholar.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Form DS 2019 which is given to prospective J1 non-immigrants. The Form DS 2019 is a two-page document required to support the application for an exchange visitor visa to the US. This document is produced by a US Department of State designated sponsor. To receive the DS 2019 as a prospective non-immigrant to the US, you must first find a designated sponsor and then apply and be accepted for sponsorship into an appropriate J-1 program category. Similar to the Form I-20 given to F-1 and M-1 non-immigrants, the Form DS-2019's primary purpose is to apply for a J-1 visa and then seek entry into the U.S. on this J-1 visa. Nevertheless, the Form DS-2019 is needed for other purposes such as applying for a U.S. Social Security number, applying for a U.S. State Identification Card, applying for a U.S. State Driver's License, and in some cases to show proof of work authorization while working in the US. J-1 non-immigrants who intend to bring their spouses or children as dependents must also obtain a separate Form DS-2019 for each dependent. So now let's take a look at the DS-2019 describing each block in the two-page document. Starting with page 1, at the top right corner is the service ID number. This number always starts with the letter N. Block 1 of the document identifies you as the participant in the J-1 program. Block 2 includes the name of your program sponsor and describes the nature of your J-1 program to be completed. Block 3, which is very important, is the start and end date of your program. J-1 visa holders may not arrive to the U.S. more than 30 days before this start date. As a non-immigrant on the J-1 status, you are given a grace period of 30 days after the program end date to depart the U.S. Note that your program end date and not the expiration of your J-1 visa determines how long you are allowed to stay in the U.S. You can learn more about this difference between your J-1 visa and your J-1 status in the video linked in the description section below. Block 4 states your exchange visitor category. This could be any one of several J-1 program categories such as trainees, college and university students, short-term scholars, etc. Block 5 is a breakdown of the estimated financial support for your J-1 program. Block 7, also very important, is the name and contact information of your program sponsor's responsible officer. You may need this information when trying to enter the U.S. at the U.S. port of entry. You can learn more about what to expect at the U.S. port of entry on a J-1 visa in a video linked in the description section below. Block 8 is completed by a J-1 responsible officer whenever a transfer of your J-1 program occurs. Over on this section to the left describes if you are subject to the two-year home residency requirement and would contain the name, signature, and date of a U.S. consul officer or immigration officer. The travel validation section on the right is also very important. A valid travel signature from your responsible officer will be required to re-enter the U.S. after a brief departure from the U.S. The very last section on page 1 is the certification section where you would sign and date the Form DS 2019. You should read and understand the instruction section on page 2 before signing this form. So as you can see, the Form DS 2019 is a very important immigration document and you must do your part to keep this safe at all times. I hope you found this video quite informative. Please give this video a like and share it as it helps other viewers who might benefit from watching this content. And if we are meeting for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel to catch up with more high value content coming your way. For more helpful resources, check out our website at surgeoninscholar.com. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. But until then, be unbounded.